afternoon uh, from Peter Stone Company. This is Peter Kozlowski, the president of Peter Stone Jewelry. Uh, we've been serving fine retailers since 1987. I just returned from my trip down to Florida, essentially covering Miami to Key West. And I stopped in uh, and met with uh, several of uh, long-term Peter Stone customers and actually stopped in and made some new ones. Uh, we have many different designs that we've uh, got new for 2016. So I showed some of those and I also made some points about the custom design video that I made last week and some things that people could do with um, with names and name drop. You can put your name or the town's name, for example, Key Largo or Key West or, or, or something nautical in this particular case. The keys were all nautical and that was the focus of this trip for Peter Stone and the Dive Silver Line. And in reflecting, I, I did a video maybe about five or six weeks ago about the year end and, and taking a look at the inventory we had left from 2015 and thinking about what did we buy and where did we invest our money? And I think people have had time to review their, their inventory, their stock from 2015, have a stock take, so to speak, and review, um, what worked. Uh, I mean, do, doing a discovery really of what you have in your store today and what really, really worked and analyzing that and expanding on what worked and looking in places, uh, new directions and possibilities. And often I'm approached uh, in some of the sales that, oh, well, so-and-so has it down the street, less expensive, um, uh, pricing is an issue, but quite frankly, I found out over the years that pricing is not as big of an issue as people really believe it is. Uh, especially today, because there's so many inexpensive things on the market, uh, you can't get much for a little money, uh, as far as quality and good craftsmanship goes. So looking into the future, just do yourselves a favor and, and really take a look at what works so you don't put money into things that are not producing for you, even though you like them or you think it's for the market and you sold a little bit and your inventory says otherwise. Take that to heart and it's your store, your business or your chain of stores, uh, your website or a combination thereof all of them. So I would say a good analysis, get a pen and paper, maybe a spreadsheet if you really like computers, but I like to do both. I like paper and computers. When I write, I connect with the numbers. It gets my mind thinking. When I work with a computer, of course, it makes things work a lot faster for me. But that gives me a good feel, a good analysis of what I've done for the previous year and looking again, writing down, asking questions. Uh, was the past year what I really want it to be? Did I reach the net revenue that I thought I should reach? And in that process, what can I eliminate? Sometimes it's, it's just good to not hold on to things that don't work. They tie up your capital. If you get something good in your store that sells well, You can turn your money four, five, six, seven or eight times in a year. When you get your calculator out and you say, well, geez, I spent $1,500 on this collection. I thought it was going to work. It doesn't have to be jewelry. It could be gifts. It could be anything that you thought was going to work that didn't really work. I mean, we've all made those mistakes. I certainly have designed lines of jewelry. I thought they were dead ringers. And they didn't work. I had to step back and say, okay, that didn't work. What is working? Take a look at 
makes me step back because that cash flow, you know, slows down a little bit. And then I have to question what really worked, what should I do more of, and what do I feel most importantly? I mean, a lot of things come right here from your gut in making decisions for your business, your store. And when you operate from you, it reflects you and your business. Rather than, well, really what's the trend? That's nice, but everyone jumps on the trend really fast. And that's okay for a short period of time, but that's a way to get caught with a lot of inventory as well. I know. I mean, I've done it. I, I particularly remember wine necklaces years ago, and it was a six month wonder. They sold like crazy, but I, I never jumped on it, but I observed it. And I've observed these trends and, and these, um, quick, quick um, uh, ins and outs, things that people think are really popular. They're popular for a little while, next year they're gone. But certainly some things work really well. And to my surprise, I knew Celtic jewelry because of the, the Anglo-Saxon part of Europe that was so ingrained in the United States and, and North America uh, and in Europe, of course, for a thousand years. I knew it would work for a while and a good 10 or so, or maybe 20 years. But today, <clears throat> excuse me, I use this as an example, that Celtic jewelry, I always thought on the rainiest of days, which means the slowest of business, I would always be able to sell that Celtic. And that has carried us through. I'm not suggesting at all that you sell Celtic jewelry. I'm using that purely as an example. So I'm only doing this video so that you can take a look at your business and say, you know, where could I make more money? How could I make less mistakes? I, I make tons of mistakes. I mean a lot, but I mean, when we cut our mistakes short, cut them short, cut them short, and then when we get a winner, we run with the winner and put our money in the winners then that's how we build our business and build our business in a good way. And I'm doing it with myself. I'm pulling back on some of my lines. I'm shortening them, making them smaller and giving the stores and the public a narrower selection, but a much more refined selection. Things that are, are better sellers are more important pieces, the pieces that really get attention. We have plenty of them. I invite you to take a look at Peter Stone, www.peterstone.com, divesilver.com, www.divesilver.com. We have breezystone.com, and you can just go to www.peterstone.com to see it all and choose the, the lines that might work for you. And it might not be Peter Stone, but I think we've got a lot to offer. Again, the point of this video is for you to take a look at your business, see what works, and think about what you want to do in this coming year. It's early in the year. You have choices to make and smart choices. You can analyze it. No need to rush into anything. I just want to share with you smart choices will do us wonders in this coming year. I am honing my skills in this area and continue to study as much material as I can to improve my decision making. So I hope you're doing the same. This is Peter from Peter Stone Jewelry uh, signing out for this week. It is February 18th, 2016. Thank you very much. We look forward to seeing you next week.